Everyone knows who the Avengers are. I mean, how could you not? The first Avengers movie made a whopping $1.5 billion. But have you ever wondered where your favorite superheroes live outside of the Marvel Universe? Well, let's take a closer look at where these super celebs call home when they're not saving the world on the big screen. First up, we have Jeremy Renner, aka Hawkeye, and when Mr. Renner is in Los Angeles, he owns a home that he refers to as The Nest. The home is 9,000 square feet and has 10 bathrooms with a backyard that has five waterfalls that cascade down to a lagoon-style pool. Renner is also known to live at his stone and timber cabin on six acres near Lake Tahoe, across the Nevada state line. So officially, Hawkeye is a Nevada resident, which he himself admits is partly a business decision, since Nevada has no state income tax. This is because when he's not shooting arrows at supervillains, he and his close friend run a house flipping business and he has been known to live in some of the houses before he flips them. This makes it hard to keep track of where Jeremy Renner lives at any given time. In 2013, the pair pulled off their biggest deal to date, which was purchasing a $7 million 10,000 square foot mansion above Beverly Hills, and after they added their magic touch, they sold it for $24 million. Even some Marvel paychecks aren't that big. Would you live in a house covered in ivy? The Black Widow doesn't seem to mind it. Scarlett Johansson and her fiancé paid $4 million back in 2018 for what is now referred to as the Ivy House, which is located in an extremely private area known as Sneedon's Landing in Palisades, New York. The house sits on almost an acre of land and has 4,000 square feet of living space. It has four bedrooms, four bathrooms, two dining spaces, a den, tennis courts, a carriage house and a glass-enclosed greenhouse. It also features a number of wrought iron balconies, gardens, brick patios and footpaths. The home even has its own pool and separate cabana house. And of course, as the name suggests, it is covered in ivy. Next up we have Captain America's house. When Chris Evans isn't running around with his shield, he can be found sitting in his stunning Laurel Canyon home, overlooking Los Angeles with his faithful dog Dodger. Mr. Evans' Laurel Canyon estate was originally built in 1940, but its previous owners who purchased the home years ago, for $1.9 million, fully renovated it and sold it to Captain America for $3.5 million. And according to property records, there was a bidding war so Chris Evans had to use that hard-earned Marvel money to secure the home for himself. The walled and gated house is almost 4,600 square feet with three bedrooms, four bathrooms, a pool and a spa. As for the Incredible Hulk, well, he's had some incredible homes. Mark Ruffalo was living in the Hollywood Hills in a 3,000 square foot, three bedroom, three bathroom home that featured a recording studio, a designer down guest house, a playhouse and a gated garden with numerous raised planter beds. He also owned a classic brownstone townhouse in Brooklyn, New York, which is configured as a four-story single-family home. It has four bedrooms and three bathrooms in about 3,200 square feet, which the actor sold for $3.5 million. Ruffalo decided to trade that all in for a more peaceful life for his family. He now lives on a 50-acre plot of land in upstate New York's Sullivan County with his wife Sunrise and their three children. The farmhouse-style home includes vegetable gardens, carved wooden animal sculptures, a barn and an eco-friendly guest house. His family purchased the land 10 years ago as a getaway and years later decided to make it their permanent residence. So there you have it! The Hulk is in touch with nature and lives in a farmhouse. Thor, the god of thunder, lived in a palace. Chris Hemsworth decided he would also like to live in a palace, or should I say Mega Mansion, which the 36-year-old actor has built in Byron Bay, Australia for himself, his wife and two kids. This impressive house sits on 4.2 hectares of land and has 6 bedrooms and 10 bathrooms. Some of the impressive features of this family home are a 50-meter rooftop infinity pool, a media room, a gym, spa and sauna, a games room, and a skate ramp in the garden. One key feature that Chris Hemsworth has shared on social media is a massive wall mural created by local indigenous creative Otis Hope Carey, who is one of Hemsworth's favorite artists. 
The Thor actor paid $20 million for his dream home, which is only a drop in the bucket for the actor, considering he's made about $76 million from the Marvel films. Lastly, we have the man himself, Iron Man. Now, you were probably expecting Robert Downey Jr.'s house to be all futuristic and super high-tech, like the eccentric billionaire Tony Stark, but it turns out Robert Downey Jr. is happy with a much more cozy and charming family home. Although his home is not a futuristic mega-mansion with an AI butler, this house is surely impressive. Robert Downey Jr. and his wife Susan Downey, along with their two children Exton and Avery, live in a converted windmill house located in the Hamptons. It is a 19th century windmill that was originally constructed as a playhouse and was later transformed as a livable residence. The inside has colorful furniture throughout the house and eye-catching artwork in every room. Outside there is a swimming pool with a freestanding poolside pavilion where the couple say they spend much of their time. With an outdoor living room and bar, a dining table along with a huge cinema-style television, I can see why they would want to spend most of their time there. This four-bedroom, four-and-a-half bathroom home sits on four acres of land and is 8,500 square feet, including the guest house. The Iron Man actor reportedly paid around $11 million for it. So there you have it, the homes of the Avengers. We hope you liked this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button as we have more great videos coming your way.